Hey guys, how is it going? Today, I just felt like sitting and playing with my friend's new makeup collection with Ofra. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna sit and play. So my friend Leora just came out with a collection with Ofra and she was wonderful enough to send it to me. So I am so excited. I have been waiting all week to finally put this palette and these lips on my face. If you don't know Leora, her channel is Leora's Makeup Loves 52. I will put all the information to her channel and socials down below. But yeah, it's amazing. She got to collaborate with Ofra on a collection. I'm so excited and happy for her. She is one of the sweetest people on the internet. She is full of energy. I absolutely love her makeup looks. She is so beautiful and so kind. So it is really amazing to see your friends succeed. Oh, I love her channel so much. I've been watching her for a few years now, it feels like. She came out with a palette and then a lipstick and lip gloss duo. Right now, all of her favorite products from Ofra also are on sale kind of to celebrate her collection as well. So if any of her favorites are something that you've been wanting to buy, I would suggest doing that because you get an extra discount and on top of your order you will get 20% off if you use the code Leora on the Ofra website so make sure you guys do that as well so thank you so much Leora for thinking of me and sending this collaboration my way I was so excited when she told me you guys I couldn't wait to see what it was and she finally reviewed it and I was like <sighs> so cool. I have one Ofra eyeshadow palette. I haven't used it too much, but I'm really excited for this. This embodies fall in my opinion, so I think this is going to be really fun for the fall. So many of you guys are going to like it. It's neutral, but there's also some pops in there. And then she also came out with a lip duo. This liquid lipstick is so Leora. I can see her wearing this color like every day. This is her embodied in a liquid lipstick. And his name is Brooklyn and she's from Brooklyn. And she also came out in her collection with their clear gloss, which I have yet to try, so I'm really excited. So I'm going to quickly prep my eyes. I'm just using my good old MAC Painterly paint pot just to kind of clear up the veins on my lid, give me a nice even base to start off with. I was just downstairs. It's Saturday today and I have not done anything. This is the most productive thing I've done. I sit down to film this video, but I was watching well, I forced my mom to watch Selling Sunset. <laughs> I watched it a few weeks ago and I was like, you need to watch this. I just love looking at the houses. I wish they would focus less on the characters, which I mean, I don't know. It th That's part of it, but I just like looking at the houses and like the pretty people and their pretty outfits. So this is a very nice priced palette. It's $29 and you get five shades. Like I said, I'm not as familiar with the Ofra formula. I'm like thinking, do I want to do really green? Do I want to play with the mauve pinky everyday looks that you can get with this or you can do something really fun with that? Mm -hmm. You guys, I don't know. Whatever. I think we'll just go really fun. So I'm going to take the yellow shade and this is going to be a look very similar to the one that she did in her reveal video. I just love that look and I really just wanted to play with the green. So I'm going to kind of copy you, Leora. And I'm using a BK Beauty 201 brush to apply this. And this yellow is actually quite pigmented. Ooh, okay, Ofra. Yellow is a really cool transition color. You can do a lot with it, especially with warm looks. I feel like it's always beautiful to start off with the yellow shades kind of peeking through everything. So now we're gonna deepen up the crease here. I'm using a BK Beauty 202 brush. I'm gonna use this warm brown shade. By the way, you guys, I am on a new lighting journey. I've used my lights for years and I really did like my lighting, but my ring light as you guys know it broke so I have a new ring light right now I think it's too bright like it's blinding me I'm on a journey to perfecting my lighting I bought some LED panel lights to try out also so every video for like the next week I'm sorry the lighting is gonna change because I'm just looking for the absolute most perfect lighting that I can get with what I purchased I purchased all of my lighting on Amazon so I saw a new ring light which I like but it's really really bright it, it does have a dimmable feature but even when i dim it i feel like i still can't see and i'm still using my umbrella lights that i've always used but i want to see what i can do with the led panel lights because i really like those lights as well because you can choose like the warmth and all of that but 
I don't know. I don't know, you guys. And this is like a beautiful fall look. I kind of almost want to stop here. But we're gonna go in with this gorgeous green shade. I'm so happy she put this in here. This is called Chill Pill. And this is the kind of color that I definitely see Leora wearing all over her lid. Ooh, that actually, the quality of this is really, really good. I'm just gonna leave the inner corner just a little bit empty. Yeah, I think she pretty much did this exact look in her reveal video, but it's so pretty. I think this particular color would work well with a brush as well. If you want to apply it a little bit cleaner and you don't want the green to get everywhere with a fat finger like mine. And to blend the green out, I'm going to take my brush in that brown color and then we're going to work on blending the green out. Then really quickly, I'm going to work on building up my lower lash line also. So I'm going to start off with the yellow because I still want that to be the peeking through color. And then I'm going to go straight into the green and apply this to my lower lash line. I'm going to use the tip of my refer number two brush in the green. So you see how I'm digging in like that. I don't know why I'm so far away from the camera today. And we're going to line the lower lash line with that. You know, I consider myself to be pretty pretty new to the Ofra formula. The shadows are very nice and easy to work with. I'm impressed. And then I think just to bring some life back to the green, I have this brush in my hand. We'll just build over that again. With the Wayne Goss number five, we're gonna go into this blissful shade. This I want all over my lid. So this is gonna be great for a neutral everyday look or even a highlighter on the face. I'm just gonna use it really quickly to highlight my inner corner. And as you can see, with the empty space that I left, this color is going to go on the lid as well. Just a little bit. I'm gonna use my finger to blend the two together. My under eyes, you guys, are so dry. I've been having a problem where concealer hasn't been looking that good because they've been dry, but when I moisturize or I use an eye cream or even just a regular lightweight moisturizer under my eyes, I get milia, like little bumps, just from the buildup of that product, and it's, I don't know what to do. I don't know. So if you have any tips, let me know. But look how beautiful this shadow is. So to finish my face, I actually pulled out the Ofra and Samantha March collab. So we're going to use those products as well while we're already on the Ofra train. I'm going to use my Sonya G Worker Fan Brush. And we're going to use that to apply the bronzer duo that Samantha March came out with. This bronzer can run a bit too deep for my skin tone. So I like this Sonia G brush just to apply a nice light layer. My hair is all over the place this Saturday evening. This brush is really nice for helping to sculpt the face as well. And I'm going to just use the corner of this brush while it's already in my hand. And I'm gonna mix these two blushes also from the Samantha March collection. This is the Chiclet Blush Duo. I'm gonna use that corner and apply my blush color. This blush is so pretty. I love a nice pinky blush. So for a nice light layer of highlight, I'm going back into Leora's palette and I'm gonna take Blissful. I'm using a refer fan brush just to keep the highlight really light, as you can see, because this is a super shiny color. So a fan brush is perfect for this to kind of tone down that glow. Ooh, that's really pretty as a highlighter. My whole base is looking kind of dry today, you guys, so excuse that. I am using a very bad foundation. <laughs> okay, cool. So I'm gonna finish liner and lashes off camera, and then we get to move into the lips. So now it's time to move on to her lip duo. So this is $25, and you're getting an Ofra liquid lipstick in the shade Brooklyn. Like I said, I can just see Leora wearing this color every day. And then you also get the Luminous Lips Clear Gloss. So I'm gonna put the clear gloss on first just to get a feel for the texture and consistency. Oh wow, that's very, very juicy. Kinda smells like coconutty a little bit. I mean, it's a clear gloss. I really like the consistency because it's not really sticky, but it's also not too smooth where I feel like it's gonna end up all over my face. Okay, so I guess we'll go all out and I'll put this color all over my lips. Not a color I personally go for every day. It is gorgeous for the fall and Ofra's liquid lipstick formula in general is just phenomenal, so. Oh my gosh, deep skin tones. This is 
your winter color. This is beautiful. <laughs> okay, so obviously with my pale skin and just the kind of colors that I typically go for, it's a lot with the eyes. I do think this lip with like simple eyes and lashes would be so killer for this fall. And again, deep complexions, you're going to kill this color. It's going to look amazing on you. Makes your teeth look nice and white though. Mm. And just Ofra's liquid lipstick formula in general is so comfortable. It stays put, but it doesn't feel really drying like a lot of other liquid lipstick formulas out there. And this is just a statement color on me. I don't think I have a color like this in my collection, so this is nice to add. My goodness, you guys, this is so fun. I feel like I'm ready for fall. Today's the first day that it was just cool outside all day. Like, it actually felt like fall. I should have gone to Starbucks and got my pumpkin spice latte or something. Thank you, Leora, for bringing the fall vibes to me because we have all been so ready. So I really, really enjoy this eyeshadow palette. Even for it just being five colors, I feel like it's very versatile. You can get a green smoky eye like I did. You can do a fun pop of yellow all over the lid for a nice fun summer look. You can stick pretty neutral with these three colors. You can just have a blushing look with this all over the lid and using it as a blush. You have a deep chocolate shade. Just for only five shades, they really work well together, but it's also very versatile as well and the lip duo really awesome package for fall especially since none of us really liked liquid lipsticks <laughs> we got over it we like the shiny comfortable lipsticks and lip glosses but I think with masks it just makes more sense to use liquid lipstick so I'm happy that we got a liquid lipstick from Leora especially since they have the best formula over at Ofra. I mean, congratulations, Leora. This is an amazing collection. I am so incredibly excited for you. And thank you so much for thinking of me. I've been dying to try this on for the last week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will put all of the information to Leora's channels, page, Instagram, all of that stuff down below. And of course the link to shop these. Make sure you use Leora's code. And that's all I have for now. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.